So if you recently bought a domain from Google Domains or you transfer your domain name to Google Domains, the next step will be how you can point this domain to your hosting. And this video is applicable to all kind of hosting, no matter what hosting you use. If you use Bluehost, Hostinger, Cloudways, Edu Hosting, Ionos, SiteGround, any hosting, you can follow this tutorial and connect a domain name with your hosting. So when you log in into your Google Domains account, you will see the domain you want to connect. So click here on Manage. And now you will see this section on left side DNS. So click on DNS. And then you'll see these two options here, default name servers, which is active and custom name servers. I'm going to teach you two methods how you can do this. So first method will be really easy. What we'll do, we'll go to custom name servers and then click here, manage name servers. And now here we need to add the two name servers provided by your web hosting. So every web hosting provides their own name servers. Just to give example for Bluehost, it's ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com. For SiteGround, it's ns1.siteground.net, ns2.siteground.net. If you're using Hostinger, they also provide the name servers. Check the description of this video. I'll add the various name servers from different hostings so you can choose your hosting and you can directly take your name servers from the description. Once you have name servers of your hosting account, copy them and go back to Google Domains and then paste name server 1 and then copy name server 2 and then paste it to name server 2 and then click on save. So once you save this account, you will see this message which is really important domain isn't using these settings. So now you need to click here, switch to these settings. What will happen right now you can see default name server is active. And when I click here, switch to these settings, now you see custom name servers will be active. And this is really important, when you make these changes, they will not be very immediate. So you need to wait for some time when the DNS propagate and your domain will be connected with your web hosting. Let me show the second method, how you can connect the Google domains to your hosting. If you cannot find the name server in the description of this video, or you cannot find name server of your hosting account on the internet. But before that, I request you to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I create this unique informational videos which you will not find easily on YouTube and guys when you like these videos I understand that you guys are liking my videos and you are learning something new so I really appreciate I hope you like the video now and subscribe to the channel okay so let's move forward to the second method in case you can find the name server of your hosting account what you need to do is go here default name servers and what we need to do is we need to add the IP of our hosting here so log into your cPanel or your hosting account you will always see this IP in case if you are having shared hosting, you will see the shared IP. If you have dedicated hosting, you will see the dedicated IP. You need to copy this. This is the example of Edu hosting. Same you can see in Bluehost also, you can find the shared IP address. In case of Cloudways, you can see when I log into my Cloudways account, I can see my server IP here. I'll just copy this IP and then what I will do, I'll go back here, DNS. Make sure you are on default name servers tab. Then you need to add your IP here. If you cannot see this section, maybe it's like closed like this. So you need to choose here custom records and then click on this arrow. And then in the name of host, you can leave this empty and then type. You need to write a record and then you need to add your IP address. I'll add this IP address and then I click on save. And once it's done, what you need to do here? Again, we need to switch to this setting because right now custom name server is active. If you already found the name server, that's fine. But in second method, we are adding the IP. So when we add this IP here, and then we need to click assist to these settings. And now you can see default name service active. And now we are connecting the domain to hosting using IP. And now I want to mention again, you need to wait for a few hours before you can see these changes. I'm sure you are able to connect your domain name. If you are facing any issue, comment down below. I answer all the comments on my channel. And like always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you want to see a detailed video on how to use Google Domains and how to transfer domain name to Google Domains, check out this video on screen. And guys, if you want to improve your knowledge to learn about Cloudflare, which is a really nice tool, check this video on screen, which will make your website really fast and very, very secure.